everyone welcome back to my channel it's nina if you were new here welcome if you are not thanks for coming back today i have a video that i'm so excited about and i actually made a similar video to this one and it was learning 13 taylor swift songs in under 20 minutes that all have the same four chords and i thought that was a really good video to show kind of how many taylor swift songs you can learn as a beginner and so i'm kind of trying to keep with that same theme with this video but instead of all the same chords all of the songs that I'm going to teach today have no capo so it's great for people who are just starting out but maybe don't have a capo don't know what that is so yeah today I'm gonna be teaching 10 Taylor Swift songs from almost all of the albums that don't have a capo and are pretty easy for beginner guitar players not all of them have the same chords or chord progression, but they're all very like beginner entry level songs. And also sometimes not having a capo limits you to the songs you can learn because a lot of songs that require a capo, if you take off the capo, the chords are much harder. If you haven't seen my other guitar tutorials, go ahead and click the link up here. And for this video, I wrote a blog post with all the chord progressions and all the things in it. So you can click the link in the description box. It takes you to my website and you yeah, let's get on with the video. Okay, like my last video that I did where I taught 13 Taylor Swift songs, I will not be going into super detail for each of these songs. So if you want me to do a full tutorial on one of the songs, comment below, but I'm basically just gonna give you the gist of it and send you on your way. Also, it's gonna be really awesome to know these songs because Taylor Swift is currently re-recording all of her old albums. So I'm so excited to kind of revisit all of these songs. All right. So so starting off strong, we're gonna start out with the debut album and I'm gonna teach you guys our song. This song is one of the first Taylor Swift songs I learned on guitar and it's super fun and it's super easy. There's four chords. The chord progression for our song is D, E minor, G, A. The strumming pattern for this song is pretty simple. Down, 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 up. And then you're gonna go to E minor. Down, 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 up. Then G, down, 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 up, and then A, down, 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 up. So how that's going to sound a little bit faster with the words is... I was riding shotgun with my hair undone in the front seat of his car. The way I strum this song is a little bit more advanced, but that's the basics. That chord progression is going to be for the whole verse and the chorus. So at the end of the chorus where it says, when I got home before I said amen, you're going to go E minor. I got home. G. back. All the verses are the same. The only thing is different is in the bridge where she goes, I heard every album listen to the radio. You basically just invert the strumming pattern like you do with any bridge. Basically you start with the minor. So we got E minor. I heard every album listen to the radio. G. For something to come along. It was as good as our song. So yeah, that's our song. Super easy. Moving on to the Fearless album, I am going to be teaching You Belong With Me. This is another song I learned when I was like in fifth grade and it's so fun. The chord progression for this song is G, D, A minor, C, and then the inverted part is A minor, C, G, D, which is most likely the pre-chorus and the bridge. The strumming pattern for this song is basically just down strumming and some palm muting going on. There's a couple ways you can strum this song, but I think when Taylor Swift played this live, she did a down strum, and that's the easiest way. So we've got G. One, two, three, one, two, three. Let's sing it. I'm in my room, it's a typical Tuesday night. I'm listening to the kind of music she doesn't All the verses for You Belong With Me are like that, those chords. When you get to the pre-chorus where she wears short skirts, that's where you're gonna invert the chord pattern. So it's gonna go A minor. She wears short skirts, I wear t-shirts, she's chick captain, I'm on a teacher. 
And it's the same thing for the bridge too, where she goes And of course the chorus is just Can't you see That is the entirety of You Belong With Me. Moving on, this song is so fun to play. I learned this from watching her play it live, Hey Steven, and she does a lot of palm muting in this song. And for beginner's sake, I will not be teaching you the more complex version. All of the verses are two chords, G and C at nine. So we've got G and C at nine. The strumming pattern for this song is also a down strum. You're going to be playing G, hey, Stephen, I could. and then switch to C at night. So you're just bouncing between G and C at 9 for all of the verse. When you get to the chorus, it's going to change a little bit. You're just going to go G. I This is where it changes. We got E minor. Come feel this magic up in D. Feeling since I met you, can I G? And that's the entire song. The only thing that changes is the bridge where she goes. Dim in the street, like too perfect to me. Why are you here? And then obviously it goes back into the chorus. I'll show you a little bit of what it sounds like when Taylor Swift plays it live because she definitely adds a lot of extra things to it. So it goes. Hey Steven, I can give you 50 reasons why I should be the one to choose. Yeah, well, you can work up to that. Okay, moving on to the Speak Now album. The first song I'm going to teach is Long Live. And this song is super easy, super easy chord progression. It's G, C, A9, E minor, D. And that's pretty much for the entire song. And also, this is a down strum song, so we love that. So we've got G. I said remember this moment In the back of my mind back to C at 9. And then it starts over. We are the kings and the queens. And then when it goes to long live, long So that's basically that whole song, Bridge. Hold on, spinning around, confetti falls to the ground. Again, it's an inverted chord progression for the bridge. That's that song. Moving on to ours, which is a bonus song on Speak Now. And this song follows the C, G, A minor, F chord progression, so love that. So for the verses, it's going to be C, A minor, F, those three chords for the verses. And when you get to the chorus, then it jumps up to the four chords. The strumming pattern for this is down, down, up, down, up, down. And then A minor, down, down, up, down, up, down. And then F, down, down, up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up, down. And that's for the whole verse. I'll do it slowly. So it goes. and then it goes to the chorus. So for the chorus, you're gonna play the same strumming pattern, but the chord progression jumps to F, G, C, and then A minor. And the strumming pattern is the same. So you're gonna go F. Don't you
So on the second line, it skips the C. And that's the whole thing. That is it for ours. The stakes are high. The waters are rough. But this love is ours. Okay, moving on to... Red. The song I'm teaching from Red is a chord progression that I don't normally teach, but I think it sounds really cool and I love this song. So we're learning Holy Ground. You could capo this song and play easier, different chords, but I really like the way this sounds. So for this song, the verses are going to be E major and A sus2. The only thing is that there's two other chords in this song that I'm not sure you're gonna like, but honestly, I think this is a good introduction to a little bit more difficult chords that are not as hard as bar chords, trust me. I'll get to that when we get there. But basically it's gonna start with E. Down, up, up, down, up, up, down. So you do the strumming pattern twice and then you switch to A sus. Down, up, up, down. So how that sounds is gonna sound like this. I was reminiscing just the other day. Well, I don't have the all alone and Lord, it took me away. Back to a first glance, feeling all new all time. I couldn't get in my bones like a perfect rhyme. Goes through the whole verse. And when it gets to the chorus, this is where we get introduced to these two chords. So we have this chord right here is called B sus something? I don't know. It's basically a cheater bar chord for B. B, the bar chord B. But this one is really pretty. It sounds like that. So. And then you're gonna slide that up two frets. And then that's gonna be a C sharp, C sharp minor sus? Sus minor? C sharp sus minor? I don't know. I, don't, I have no idea what this chord is called but I will put a chord chart so you know what it looks like. So basically, it's gonna sound like this. Okay, so that one is a little bit harder. I would say that's the hardest one of all the 10 songs, but comment down below if you want me to do a full tutorial because I love that song. Okay, moving on to 1989. Okay, these are so easy. The first one I'm gonna teach is Out of the Woods, and this one is easy because it's the same four chords for the entire song, even the bridge, even everything. So we've got C, and then we have G sus, and then we have A minor, and then we have F sus. And that's it for the whole song. So I'll just play and sing. Looking at it now. Down, up, up, down. All seems so simple. Up, up, down. Up, up, down. We were lying on the couch. I remember. So it's very slow. And then we have the chorus, so it goes, and I remember thinking, are we out of the woods yet? Are we out of the woods yet? Are we out of the woods yet? Are we out of the woods? Are we in the pain yet? Are we in the pain You get it. That one's super easy. And then we have Shake It Off, which is, again, super easy. These chords are the same for the entire song, and there's only three chords in this song. We have A minor, C, and G. So we've got A minor, regular C, and regular G. The only thing that's hard about this song is the strumming because she palm mutes it a lot. So she goes, I stay out too late. she does it is down down up up down up down down up up down up so you don't have to palm mute it you could just do the strumming but that's the way that she does it c down down up up down up down down up up down up and then g down down up up down up down down up up down up but i keep cruising can't stop 
that moving on to reputation I'm teaching New Year's Day and this song is interesting because it's a piano song and she has this really interesting thing for the verses that she does on the piano but basically the equivalent on a guitar is gonna be C a minor F for the verses so when she goes there's glitter on the floor to the party girls carrying the shoes down in the lobby so basically what I do is C, and you I pick the top three strings of the chord. So one, two, three, one, two, three, and then F, one, two, three. Because that's kind of how she does it on piano. I don't know. For the chorus and all the rest of the song besides the verses, it's going to be C, G sus, A minor, F sus. So that's how we're going to play it. So this song is the kind of song that you switch chords in the middle of the strumming pattern. So when she says, Don't last page. Down, up, up, switch. Down, up, up, down. And then to A minor, down, up, up, switch to F sus, down, up, up, down. I hope that makes sense. So, or you can just regular strum. And rounding out this video, we have a song from Lover called Daylight. And again, I love this song because it's four chords for the entire song. There's no inversion ever. So we've got C, the same chords as the last song. C, G sus, A minor, F sus, you know by now. My love was cool as the city. And then when we get to the chorus, now that I saw you, I'll tell you the truth, but never goodbye. I don't want to be anything else now that I saw you. And I don't want to think of anything else now that I thought of you. Yep, that's the 10 songs. That's all of them. I hope you guys liked this video and I hope I explained everything well enough. If not, let me know and I can clear up some things. Another thing to note is that all of these songs are in the original key. So if you want to practice them, you can just play the song on your phone and play along with it. So that's what I do. Yeah, thanks guys for watching. Give this video a like if you want to see more videos like this, more like easy beginner Taylor Swift songs. There's so many that it's gonna take me a very long time if to make a video for each and every one of them especially when she's coming out with like new songs all the freaking time now love to see it uh, don't forget to subscribe for more I make new videos every Tuesday and Friday comment down below the song you're most excited for her to re-record that's a fun question for me it's probably gonna be a lot of the earlier songs and I'm really looking forward to seeing if she puts any of her unreleased songs songs on these new recordings because I really need like a high quality version of I'd Lie, Dark Blue Tennessee, I need Better Man, her version. I need them. I need everything. Anyways, um, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!